Americans first met Ronald Reagan at the movies, where he was larger than life moving across the screen. The week that honored his death was itself an exercise in motion, from takeoffs and landings on opposite coasts to parades of people paying respect, to riderless horse clip clopping to the Capitol steps, a blur of action, really. So tonight, for a moment or two, we'll slow it down, stop it, actually, and let still photographs do what they do best, with thanks to the photographers of the Associated Press, who captured them all. We have come this day to begin the preparation of our final respects. We thank you that this world is a better place because he was here. The legacy that he left behind set a, a path to the American future and something that's going to affect my life and everyone else's. So it's good to be part of that. and freedom in the world. It is the right place to honor a man who so faithfully defended our freedom and so successfully helped extend the blessings of liberty to millions of people around the world. of our brother Ronald for burial, but I pray with confidence to God, the giver of life, that he will raise him to perfection in the company of the saints. He is himself again, more himself than at any time on this earth, and as the last journey of this faithful pilgrim took him beyond the sunset, and as heaven's morning broke, I like to think, in the words of Bunyan, that all the trumpets sounded on the other side. As his vice president for eight years, I learned more from Ronald Reagan than from anyone I encountered in all my years of public life. I learned kindness. We all did. I also learned courage. The nation did. It has been 10 years since he said his own farewell. Yet it is still very sad and hard to let him go. When the sun sets tonight off the coast of California, and we lay to rest our 40th president, a great American story will close. He is home now. He is free. In his final letter to the American people, Dad wrote, I now begin the journey that will lead me 
into the sunset of my life. And this evening, he has arrived. The photographs of the Associated Press and the elegant work of Newsnight producer Amanda Townsend.